We are, in fact, there he is, uh, the, the former presidential personal attorney as well as New York mayor during 9-11 and DA in New York in the 80s, prosecuted many people, organized crime leaders under the very same statute he is now walking into that courthouse to surrender for. That was Rudy Giuliani getting walked into the courthouse in Georgia to get his mug shot. Now here is what he had to say. Maybe in American history, and the most effective mayor for sure, it can happen to you. How does it feel to be on the other side of the justice system? How does it feel to be on the other side of the justice system? Sorry, don't interrupt me. I'm making a statement. Uh, if they can do this to me, they can do this to you. Hey, don't interrupt me. I'm talking over here. Uh, he's uh, talking to the reporter like, uh, like it's a child. Don't interrupt me. I'm making a statement over here. Uh, let's see what else he has to say. Uh, Fanny Willis will go down in American history as having conducted one of the worst attacks on the American Constitution ever when this case is dismissed. She has uh, violated uh, people's First Amendment right to advocate uh, the government, to petition the government for grievances, like an election they believe was poorly conducted or falsely conducted. People have a right to believe that in America. Uh, Biden and the Biden state doesn't have a right to tell you what the truth is. After hearing that, I guess there's only one thing left to say. So Rudy Giuliani and all of the co-conspirators in the election lie are being held accountable and they are upset. This is an attack on my First Amendment right. You heard Rudy just say that. He said that uh, uh, Fonnie Willis is... Uh, is attacking his First Amendment and the First Amendment rights of others who questioned the election. Uh, Rudy, it's one thing to question the election. It's another thing to start making things up and continue to make things up even after your own people in the administration had said that the election was done fair and square, there was not fraud at the level that you guys are saying or any level that would have made a difference. Um, and, and at this point, these guys are just grasping at straws. One of the first excuses they were trying to use, the Trump excuse was, well, he was just listening to the advice of his lawyers. Rudy Giuliani has said, you, in America, you can listen to your lawyers. Wait, you're telling us we can't listen to our lawyers? Well, the truth is, if your lawyers keep telling you a lie over and over and over again, and you choose to believe it, at some point when the consensus is that that lie is a lie, you can no longer continue to defend yourself and say, well, I still believe in the lie. Because if that's the case, then I believe that I have a full head of hair and you can't convince me otherwise. And even if the courts, they went to six, they had over, there's 60 court cases. They tried to fight the election results in the legal way and they were defeated. And then they came up with this wacky idea of getting uh, uh, the, the, the fake electors, of getting... Um, calling the Secretary of State in Georgia, that's what this is all about, and asking him to find 11,000 votes to overturn the election. There's a phone call where Trump is making that statement. There's just way too much proof. For anyone who still believes that this is an attack by the Biden administration on Trump because they're trying to stop him in the election, you're nuts. Get your head out of the sand. I don't care if you're a Republican. But you have to admit that Trump is a crook, Rudy's a crook, always have been. Rudy has a history of being a crook. Rudy has a history of being a pervert. He's now being uh, 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 taken to court by a former employee that he was pushing himself on sexually. Uh, we all remember that scene in Borat 2 where he came this close to asking the reporter to do something sexual to him. Um, he, he represented the Sackler family. That's the oxycodone people, codone people. The, the drug addiction that we have right now in America, uh, th those guys were part of the people who caused that. And Rudy represented those guys. So he was America's mayor because he was the mayor on September 11th who showed up in New York and, and uh, showed a brave face. But the truth is, any New York mayor would have shown up and shown a brave face. The problem is that Rudy then just started going downhill. He's the guy who was drunk that night of the election and told Trump or encouraged Trump to go on and say, frankly, we won this election. 
You can't just say that. You've thrown the country into topsy-turvy. You have convinced a large swath of the, go- of the country that this election was stolen when it wasn't, and now they don't believe anything. And now we're in this place where whenever you lose, you just say, hey, I won. Kerry Lake, I won. Um, uh, a lot of these people now, internationally, they're doing it. Um, Bolsonaro in Brazil. Uh, a lot of people are doing it, and Rudy is guilty, and they're just looking for excuses. The latest reporting says that Rudy went to Trump and asked for him to cover the, uh, his, his, uh, his high uh, legal costs, and Trump said, talk to the hand, because the face don't understand. Go on with your bad self, Rudy. Rudy's uh, uh, license to practice law has been taken away. I'm so happy that these people are finally having to pay. The word schuldenfreude, schuldenfreude, is when you take joy in someone else's pain. And their pain is giving me a lot of joy. So ladies and gentlemen, open up a a bottle of champagne, sip some champagne as you watch these mugshots come in. By the way, whoever's taking these mugshots has horrible lighting. It's really white. It's like super white. It's, It's horrible lighting for horrible people. That's what it is. Watch, look, look at, look at the, mug, mug, the mug shots. John Eastman, Jenna Ellis, Sidney Powell, all cuckoos. Remember the, uh, the press conference with Rudy? He knew these guys have known it's a lie and they continue to lie. To My heart goes out to the dum-dums who continue to believe in Rudy and Trump and all these people. Wake up! What's wrong with you? Wake up! It's okay if you have conservative values. Find, find a candidate who's not a, who's not a criminal like straight up criminal. And stop trying to gaslight by saying the Biden crime family. Prove it. Prove it and then we can talk. And if they, if they are a crime family, then they should get mug shots. But currently, pretty much everyone who's worked with Donald Trump is ended up being a criminal. You got your Roger Stone, you got your Paul Manafort, you got Michael Flynn. These guys were all convicted and thrown in jail. And now these other guys are going in jail. It's so, so obvious. Book them, Dano. Bye-bye, Rudy. Pay the price. I'm Maz Jobrani. I'm a comedian. I have a special on YouTube. It's called The Birds and the Bees. Watch it. Enjoy it. Tell your friends about it. And don't commit a crime or you too will end up having to get a mugshot.